welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that find the equations of the lines of regression on the basis of the given data. And if this data is given to us, and in this data, the different values of x are 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, and 17. And for these values of x, the corresponding values of y are 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, and 8. Now, before starting the solution of this question, we should know some results. And that are the regression equation of y on x is given by y minus y bar is equal to b y x into x minus x bar the whole. Where y bar is the mean value of y, x bar is the mean value of x, and b y x is the regression coefficient of y on x. And where b y x is given by the formula, summation x y minus summation x into summation y over n whole upon summation x square minus summation x whole square by n. And secondly, the regression equation of x on y is given by x minus x bar is equal to bxy into y minus y bar the whole. Where bxy is the regression coefficient of x on y and bxy is given by the formula. Summation xy minus summation x into summation y by n whole upon summation y square minus summation y whole square by n. Now these results will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. First of all we will draw a table for this given data. So we have drawn a table for the given data and here in the first column we have written different values of x, in the second column different values of y, then in the next column we will find x square, in the next column we will find y square and in the last column we will find x y that is x into y. Now x square means we will square the different values of x, now where x is 10 so x square will be 100, 12 square is 144, 14 square is 196, 15 square is 225, 16 square is 256 and 17 square is 289. For y square, we will square the different values of y. Now here y is 2, so y square will be 4, 3 square will be 9, 4 square is 16, 6 square is 36, 7 square is 49 and 8 square is 64. Now in the last column, we will multiply different values of x and y. So here it will be 10 into 2 which is 20, 12 into 3 which is 36, 14 into 4 will be 56, 15 into 6 will be 90, 16 into 7 is 112, 17 into 8 is 136. Now on adding different values of x, we are getting summation x is equal to 84. On adding different values of y, we are getting summation y is equal to 30. On adding different values of x square, we are getting summation x square is equal to 1210. And on adding different values of y square, we are getting summation y square is equal to 178. And on adding different values of x square, we get summation x square 
is equal to 450. Now, we know that mean value of x is given by x bar, which is equal to summation x by number of observations, which are n. So here summation x is 84 over number of observations are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So this will be equal to 14. And mean value of y is given by y bar which is equal to summation y over n and summation y is 30 and n is 6. So this will be y bar is equal to 5. So we get x bar is equal to summation x by n which is equal to 14 and y bar is equal to summation y over n which is equal to 5. Now in the question we have to find the equations of the lines of regression. First of all we will find the regression coefficients. So by using this result we will find the regression coefficient of y on x. So the regression coefficient b by x is equal to summation xy minus summation x into summation y over n whole upon summation x square minus summation x whole square by n. Now summation xy is 450, summation x is 84, summation y is 30 and summation x square is 1210. So putting all these values here, this will be equal to 450 minus 84 into 30 over 6 whole upon 1210 minus 84 square over 6. On solving, this is equal to 450 minus 420 whole upon 1210 minus 1176 which is further equal to 30 over 34 which is equal to 15 by 17. Therefore, the regression coefficient bYx is equal to 15 by 17. Now using this result which is given in the key idea the regression equation of y on x is given by y minus y bar is equal to b by x into x minus x bar the whole. Now x bar is 14, y bar is 5 and b by x is equal to 15 by 17. So putting all these values here, this implies y minus 5 is equal to 15 by 17 into x minus 14 the whole. On cross multiplying this implies 17y minus 85 is equal to 15x minus 210 which further implies 17y minus 15x plus 125 is equal to 0. So this is the regression equation of y on x. And now we will find the regression equation of x on y. Now using this result, which is given in the key idea, now the regression coefficient bxy is given by the formula summation x1 minus summation x into summation y by n whole upon summation y square minus summation y whole square by n. Now, using all these values, bxy will be equal to, now summation xy is 450 minus summation x is 84 into summation y is 30 over n is 6 whole upon Summation y square is 178 minus summation y is 30 and its square over n which is 6. Further, 
on solving this will be equal to 450 minus 420 whole upon 178 minus 150. Now this is equal to 30 by 28 which I'm solving is equal to 15 by 40. Therefore, dxy is equal to 15 by 14. And now, the regression equation of x on y is given by x minus x bar is equal to bxy into y minus y bar the whole. Now x bar is 14, y bar is 5 and bxy is 15 by 14. Putting all these values here, this implies x minus 14 is equal to 15 by 14 into y minus 5 the whole. On cross multiplying this implies 14x minus 196 is equal to 15y minus 75. Which further implies 14x minus 15y minus 121 is equal to 0. So this is the regression equation of x and y. Hence, the equations of lines of regression are 14x minus 15y minus 121 is equal to 0 and 17y minus 15x plus 125 is equal to 0. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.